What's going on everybody? Dagir here bringing you guys a virtual formula drift pro one round two driver's bean video. I'll be going over two walkthroughs of the course, one for qualifying and one for tandems and also event procedures. So let's get started off here. Your 50 row, we start at these dotted lines going across the track right before the 300 marker. Let's get started, continue on rolling. I've been noticing a lot of people have been ending the 50 row at the 200, but I mean, I don't know if people have looked at the video or, or have been looking at the video, but your 50 row went in at the dotted lines across the track before the 200. So please keep note of that. Continue on here. Your restart marker, we get to that in the tandem part. Now the initiation point where we prefer people to be entering at is right at the 100 marker or at these dotted lines or as you said in between this dotted line just a little after the 100 marker. So you want to be entering around there a little before or after that point. You are allowed one tire drop because there should be rumbles here but um, I guess turn 10 scanning then I guess pick up the rumble strip so let's continue on rolling but you're allowed one tire drop on the injury. First clipping point inside, you're allowed a tire drop. Coming uphill, your outside zone, you're allowed a tire drop into the dirt here. One tire drop coming into the corner. To your next outside zone, where a tire drop is also allowed. Your inside clipping point. And on your exit, we are align one tire drop on the exit here. We prefer mid or we prefer mid to inside, but most preferably you can try to hug the rumbles. To your inside clipping point where a tire drop is allowed. And on exit, a tire drop is also allowed because there should be rumbles here. And as we're ending the run, we want you guys to finish run all the way up here to the end of these third these third dotted lines. So please be sure to get your car past that to make sure no, I guess, shenanigans will be happening at the end of runs to make sure that the judges know that it's a clean run. So that'll be it for the qualifying portion. Alrighty, we're back up here for the tandem part. Everything pretty much goes as the same for qualifying, but I just want to clarify a little bit more extra stuff here. As for people that's not battling, please stay, I guess, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out a point here. I guess stay behind, way behind, I guess, these tents here. Or the flop, or what is, that, is that the hot dog stand here? You can see the hot dog stand, stay behind that. So, if you're not battling, or you can stay the shade, either or. Please stay behind that point of the track, please. As for... Also, I want to clarify about how we're going to do battles and everything to make sure our communication is going to go down. We're going to be using the kick chat and everything. Um, we'll also, I guess, probably, I guess, probably while we're doing this video, we will be working on getting people in those chats for Pro 1. So, please look forward for a message on chat to get into the chat. So that way, we're going to try to eliminate, I guess, the party processing and everything. So th this group chat will be a lot easier to let know to let everybody know when to go and everything and for having not to rely on the stream because it does take up a little time so that's what we'll be using this round is a kick chat to communicate with everybody all right let's get started off with the section your 50 rows so that these dotted lines <laughs> 50 row went in at these dotted lines Okay, for the restart marker, please be aware that this first set of dotted lines is your restart point. If we see that you're breaking from there, we'll, we'll be cautious that you're wanting to restart the run. So please be note these first dotted lines is your restart marker. Entry point, little little after the 100 marker are the second set of dotted lines. Be note that this is a heavy handbraking zone, so note the people that it is following, please be cautious of that. So, I just want to get that out of the way, so that way anybody 
don't want to, I guess, come towards the judging panel questioning it. So please be aware that this is a heavy handbraking area into the first turn. Again, you have your you have your tire drop, which should be a rumble there. Your first clipping point. Now, I did. I was looking at the stream where I did see a couple of runs where people, I guess, were, I guess at the I guess at the apex wasn't getting on the gas properly, or people overshooting the turn, or et cetera, et cetera. You should be on the gas by this apex you should not still be hand braking or braking by this point you should be on the gas preparing to carry speed up the hill so want to clarify that your outside zone tire drop is a lot into the dirt now this is another coming up this is another heavy hand braking area now you may have some people may go up the hill regularly hand braking or you may have people throwing lots of angle going up this hill so be cautious of that follow driver outside zone when tire is allowed the inside clipping point on the exit tire drop is allowed you could take the mid mid line or preferably hug the rumbles to your last inside clipping point which tire drop is allowed and on exit a tire drop is allowed and finishing up the hill at the third line dotted lines so that'll be pretty much it for the tandem portion and for the drivers meeting if there is any other questions please message me on facebook or most likely i'll give give a fast response back at my xbox gamer take initial die so that will be concluding the Virtual Formula Pro 1 Round 2 Drivers Meeting video. You guys take care.